Today I'm talking about the new movie, Sometimes I Think About Dying. This stars Daisy Ridley and the basic premise is this woman has a nice routine with her life and she likes sticking to that routine and part of that routine features her fantasizing about death. But then one day a cute new boy comes to her job and maybe she wants to shake up her routine. Hmm. And it's really good. I really enjoyed this film. What definitely really made it for me was Daisy's performance. It was just so unique and charming. I could really feel for her, like her social awkwardness, it just like not vibing with the people around her, her just really wanting to be home and chilling, but also her just wanting, you know, to enjoy life, but struggling with that at every turn. And then like as she more so opens up throughout the film, the choices Daisy made for this character were so interesting and really just like pulled me in more. Like these weird little mannerisms. It really worked for me. I also really really loved the cinematography because they did a lot of unconventional framing but it helped highlight actions and things not normally highlighted. Like hands doing certain things and other nervous tics. There'd be a lot of blank space but that blank space told us stuff and added to what was being visually conveyed. And they're also really good with like holding shots for long periods of time and just, yeah, I don't know, it was a very, very well made film that just really worked for me. If I was going to complain about anything, it would be the very, very end of the film just kind of came suddenly. It felt like there was just like a few minutes or just like a slight more build up to that moment that we were missing because like everything else flowed very, very well together. And then it's just like suddenly we're doing the end thing where this, let's just say reveal is happening and that is how the story is supposed to end but there's like a moment that's not there that needs to be there but honestly really didn't take it down that much I still really enjoyed this film and I would without a doubt recommend it if you can handle slow quiet films this is for sure 100% a slow quiet film and that's not a genre for everyone it's not the most slow or most quiet film so I do think it's more open for more people but if you don't think you can handle slow quiet films Sad as it is to say, it's safe to skip this one. So yes, I did really like it, and I would recommend it just a little bit cautiously. And now for my ranking, I put this at number 13 in the really like section. And this is out of a total of 42 new movies so far this year.